If you're new to Street Fighter or you just want to learn more about your favorite character, this is the video for you. Today, we'll be going over the feral monster with a heart of gold, Blanca, who is one of the coolest characters in Street Fighter VI and got a massive makeover. So kick back, grab your plushie, and get ready to learn all about Blanca. The first thing you'll notice about Blanca is his appearance. What is he, you might be wondering? A frog? An alien? A creature of the night? No, actually, he's just a Brazilian man. Which leads us to the next thing you're probably wondering. A question posed by Nerdstash. Why does this Brazilian man not look Brazilian? Street Fighter's developers figured that releasing a game with only humanoid characters would be kind of boring. So, in Street Fighter 2, they made the decision to make Dal Sim stretchy and Blanca, well, feral. In the original Street Fighter 2, the reason for Blanca's green skin is that he's a vegetarian. Apparently, he ate so many green plants living in the Brazilian jungle that he turned green. With the US release of the game, that backstory was fleshed out, stating that he was on a plane which was struck by lightning, which then crashed in the Brazilian jungle and imbued Blanca with electric powers. But that wasn't entirely satisfactory either. The final story is that as a child, Blanca, then named Jimmy Carlos, was on a flight over Brazil. Shadaloo, in an attempt to assassinate a minister who was also on board, shot down the plane. Jimmy survives the crash, but finds himself stranded in the middle of the Amazon rainforest. It was here that he came into contact with electric eels and gained his signature electric attacks. Whether this is backed by science is uncertain, but one thing is clear. When that plane crashed, one of the most beloved characters in Street Fighter was born. As a character, Blanca is insanely popular. In 2008, people in Spain were asked if they recognized photos of famous Brazilians. Only three were recognized. Soccer legend Pele, international supermodel Giselle Bunchen, and the Brazilian man himself, Blanca. Blanca's first appearance was in Street Fighter 2. A practitioner of capoeira, Blanca is a charge character whose playstyle is built around three tools, his electricity, his rolls, and his bite throw. Finding success with Blanca in Street Fighter 2 is all about controlling space. The threat of bite means that blocking is not always safe, and rolling attack plus electricity can be used to force the opponent into a defensive stance or back into the corner. Electricity is an especially cool move because if any part of Blanca is touched during the animation, the opponent gets knocked down. So, if you're playing against a cross-up heavy character like DJ, electricity is like a get-out-of-jail free card. His standing high kick and high punch are both good anti-air options, and his crouching high punch has ridiculous range. Overall, he's a pretty unique character, with tons of movement and gimmick options. Despite this, he's ranked solidly in the low to mid tier, as he has some pretty bad matchups, and as far as Street Fighter 2 characters go, he's no Sagat. The next time we see Blanca is in Street Fighter the movie. Oh yeah, this is my favorite part of the video. In the 1995 film, Blanca is portrayed by Robert Mamone, an AN soldier under the command of Colonel Guile, his best friend. Blanca is captured by M. Bison, who forces Dr. Dal Sim, Dr. Dal Sim to turn him into a beast. Yeah, you heard that right, Dr. Dal Sim, MD. We'll make sure to cover that in another video. After going through with the experiment, Blanca goes from this to this, a green monster portrayed by the great Kim Repia. After M. Bison is defeated, Blanca refuses to escape with Guile for fear of not being accepted in society, and he and Dr. Dal Sim stay at the base as it collapses. If good men do nothing, that is evil enough. Blanca's body is never recovered, and after Dr. D promised to make him normal again, we have to believe that both made it out alive. Although Blanca didn't make it into the arcade release of Street Fighter the Movie The Game, he does make it into Street Fighter Real Battle on Film, the home release of Street Fighter the Movie The Game which is really all we could ever ask for. Unfortunately, Blanca didn't make a return in Street Fighter 3, but was included in Street Fighter Alpha 3. In this game, the story goes that Blanca sneaks onto a poacher's truck to eat a melon and accidentally becomes a stowaway. His character is also fleshed out a little, where it's revealed that at some point, he saves Dan Hibiki's life in some unspecified incident in the Amazon rainforest. The two become lifelong friends, and also, apparently, he's friends with Sakura which is important later on. For now, between Street Fighter Alpha 3 and Street Fighter 4, 
Blanca makes several appearances in crossover games and cameos. He appears in Capcom vs SNK 1 and 2, Street Fighter X Tekken as a DLC character with his tag partner Sakura, Street Fighter X Mega Man as a boss, Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, which has items named after him, and as a character in Puzzle Fighter. He also pops up in Wreck-It Ralph during the end credits, where he does a nifty roll attack into Electric Thunder, a nice mix-up to catch one of Ralph's normals in case he was expecting Bite instead. Way to play the RPS. Also, he's in Fortnite. Okay, this is epic. Blanca can't stand the looks that they get walking on the streets, so he and Dan go to Hong Kong. It's there, along with Sakura, that they enter the Sin Tournament. After winning, Blanca returns home and finds many new friends, and all is well. In terms of gameplay, Street Fighter 4 Blanca was not very good. While he has lots of tools to open up opponents, his mix-up and Oki game is super unsafe. If he guesses wrong in a 50-50 situation, he gets punished hard. And if he spends all his meter, he has virtually no defensive options. His playstyle is super mind game and mix up y, but with so few safe options, he was rarely picked at tournaments. Oh, he got him! He did not Where land in time that? to EX up with yeah. Then, in Street Fighter V, Blanca was introduced during Season 3 as a DLC character. It seemed like Capcom had done nothing to buff his kit. In fact, they took away many of his gimmicks, leaving him one of the worst characters in the game. Tokido, Gachikun, and Mego ranked the character in the C tier. Fudo, Bonchan, and Moke did the same. Punk confidently ranked him F tier, bottom of F tier, literally the worst character in the game. In Street Fighter V, in terms of lore, there's not much to report for Blanca's story. <coughs> so let's talk about him as a character. Blanca had very little representation in major tournaments, mainly because he had some impossibly bad matchups, lacked any real pressure strings, and if your opponent knows how to play against you, it's pretty much over. Moving on to Street Fighter VI. Here, Blanca has settled into life in Brazil, becoming an adventure tour guide. Being so knowledgeable about the jungle, he's the perfect candidate to take well-paying foreigners into the rainforest and make a decent living. To promote this adventure tour, he launched an online campaign selling little Blanca-chan dolls. Seriously, great character development. Speaking of character development, in Street Fighter VI, Capcom decided to show Blanca some love. Finally. In the new game, Blanca is good. Really good. He has tons of tools for mix-ups, combos, and even a little bit of zoning. His heavy rolling attack is safe on block, medium can be used for combos, and light is a nasty feint. Up ball is a good anti-air, and rainbow goes three different distances and can cross up. His air ball is a dive kick that is super useful if you jump back into it, and the EX version is plus on block. In short, his mix-up game is nuts. But that's not all. Blanca now has a projectile. Sort of. He throws out a little Blanca-chan version of himself, and if he charges it up with electricity, it starts walking forward at your opponent. The EX version of this bounces around and comes back at the opponent, forcing them to know which way to block. If you've got your opponent cornered or land a knockdown, you can drop the Blanca-chan and make the Oki a living hell for your opponent. For the first time in the character's long history, he was getting some representation at the top level. At EVO 2023, Blanca was instrumental in Mena RD's bracket reset against Angry Bird in Grand Finals and showed what he's capable of when in the right hands. And that is it, pack him up. Mena RD. For such a storied character, reaching the highest heights of the biggest fighting game tournament of the year is a sick way to start out a new game and we're excited to see how far the character can go in the future. This video is made possible thanks to our wonderful patrons. Massive thank you to everyone on this list, and shout out to B, Pass, Shampoo, and Yashichi for being Platinum supporters, as well as an extra special shout out to Cloud, Steph, and Jack for being our Diamond supporters. We really appreciate it. If you want to talk to us, check out our Discord. If you want to support our channel and get info on unreleased videos, check out our Patreon. If you want to help us out in a different way, leaving a like, subscribing, and hitting the bell to stay up to date is also appreciated. My name is Jonah, thanks for watching.